Sancho proves his worth. Sal sends social media crazy. And Mbappe to Newcastle, a chance to round up. And today's Friday Feels Roundup. All coming up in the next few minutes as I'm your host, Matt Froelich. You are the one footballers and this is the Daily News. So first off, Jaden Sancho over the weekend really, really proved his worth with a stunning hat-trick as Dortmund smashed Paderborn 6-1 in the Bundesliga. Now, overall in the Bundesliga, doesn't make too much of a difference. Because of their loss to Bayern, Dortmund are still seven points behind the league leaders. But if anyone was doubting Jaden Sancho or his stats, or if he was actually that good of a player, all you have to do is look at the stats. Look at his performance this weekend. It's unbelievable. And I am not, not taking the old, oh, he plays in a Farmers League argument. If any other player, and by the way, Sancho in 27 Bundesliga games has 17 goals and 17 assists. If any other player puts any sort of number on that, Surely the Herald is an absolute wonder kid at 20 years old. I mean, think of like, João Felix, if he put those sort of numbers together, or I don't know, Vinicius Jr. That'd be absolutely insane. They'd definitely be worth so much money. So yeah, as an English football fan, it's not even about that. It's not even any bias behind it when you're putting up those kind of numbers and putting in performances that Jake Sancho is, well, he definitely, definitely deserves all the credit. As to whether or not he's gonna move, well, the better he plays, the more millions are gonna be added onto his price tag. But we don't even want to talk about the transfer nonsense just yet. Let's just enjoy watching Jaden Sancho on the pitch because definitely he's gone from being one of the best youngsters in the world, a really hot prospect, to being one of the best players in the world. There's no way that you can have an argument against that, as I mentioned, with the kind of season that he's been putting in. Yes, Dortmund are out of the Champions League. That's not something that Sancho can literally fix by himself. It is a team sport after all. But moving on, and to Sal Niguez, who's been hotly tipped with a move to Manchester United, and yesterday released a few cryptic social media posts, which makes it look like he's going to be revealing his club in the next three days. Well, that was yesterday, so technically it's two days now. Personally, I'm not so sure whether or not this is actually going to be what you think it is. Don't get me wrong, Man United fans went a little bit crazy. I mean, there was talk a few weeks ago that they agreed a £70 million deal for the midfielder, who had a €150 million Euro release clause in his contract. So it's a pretty good deal. But in all honesty, it's probably going to be like another one of these marketing campaigns. We saw it with Zlatan Ibrahimovic, where I think he purchased part of another club in Sweden. I'm pretty sure it's going to be the same thing. If you look at his recent social media and just the way that Sal plays on the pitch, he is Atletico Madrid through and through. The only way he could move to Manchester United is... Basically, he's one of these old school contracts where some of his contract is owned by a third party management. So about 40% of that. The 40% that is owned is from a former executive at Manchester United and agent George Mendes. And there's some sort of tie back to Manchester United with a whole lot of money involved. It gets very complicated. And to be honest, I really don't know all of the ins and outs. Anyway, if Sal was to leave Atletico, maybe Manchester United would be the destination. But as I mentioned before, I'm not quite sure that's what we're gonna see in a few days time. Who knows? The announcement could be something different and blow us all out of the water. But moving on, and Kylian Mbappe is gonna go to Newcastle United. No, he's not, I'm sorry. Sorry guys, sorry Mbappe fans, Newcastle fans. That was just a bit of a joke made from Premier League great Alan Shearer. Speaking over the weekend, he said that he'd love to see Kylian Mbappe in the Premier League. He thinks he's got all the ability in the world. He'd love to see him test himself in England. Despite this, though, he was then asked which club he'd like to see Mbappe at. And of course, the Newcastle legend said Newcastle United. Now, don't get me wrong, they've probably got enough money when their takeover goes through. But yeah, there's no way they're going to attract Kylian Mbappe. The thing is, if Newcastle were to become like a Manchester City type team or a PSG type team, it's going to take them like four, five, six years to get all the money, invest it, get into the Champions League regularly, get challenging for the title to attract the top players in the world. I give it five years before they can bring in, not Mbappe, someone of Mbappe stature. Actually, maybe even more. Maybe like seven or eight years before Newcastle pulling off those kind of moves. So no, Mbappe won't be going to Newcastle, but pretty good idea from Alan Shearer anyway. So next up, and a quick round up of the rest of the news that you might have missed, and England's second division. The championship is set to return on the 20th of June, with Leeds United looking for promotion back to the Premier League. If Barcelona are to let Philippe Coutinho go out on loan next season, they want a 9 million euro loan fee. Arsenal are favourites to sign Napoli forward Arkadiusz Milik. And like we mentioned on Friday, PSG have agreed at the last minute that deal for Mauro Icardi, and he has joined the French champions on a permanent basis. So lastly but not least, we come to a quick round up of your Friday feels. This 
is where you guys have all your footballing predictions in the comments section on Friday's Daily News for a big weekend of Bundesliga action. And first up, Blues HD correctly guessed that Torgan Hazard will continue to shine and get another goal, which he did, of course, overshadowed by Jadon Sancho's hat-trick, but still a fantastic performance from one of the Hazard brothers. Wayland Barreto guessed that Dortmund will win by more than one goal, and they actually won by a five-goal difference. And Arnav Mirotra guessed that Lewandowski would hit a double, which... The Polish forward did as Bayern Munich continued their fine form with a 5-0 smashing of Dusseldorf. So there you have it. That's all from me for today. Thanks so much for watching. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below. And whilst you're at it, smash the like button and click here or here to check out all of the other videos we've got going on on OneFootball. But until next time, I'll see you guys later.